are backstage at the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show and uh, we're having our hair and makeup done and it's all happening. So basically we're going to be doing hair like this for all the girls. This season it was really important to show individual style as well as keeping in that vein of the sexy bedhead, glossy Victoria's Secret look. First of all, I'm going to blow dry her hair with the Body and Hold Volumizing Mousse. All of you should have it at your station. We're using the VS products in the hair because they always maintain shine and they keep that looseness and sexiness that's so important for this kind of look. We're trying to kind of work with the girl's length. We don't really want everybody to have really long hair. Some of the girls are not going to have always the same hair length. Some girls might like a middle parting, some might like an off-center part. To be a little more individual, but the texture and, and the glossiness is what brings all the girls into a cohesive bedhead look. The important thing when you're doing makeup like this, the thing is to not get in the way. I mean, you book a whole room full of amazingly beautiful girls, so the point is to keep them as beautiful as when they first walk in. This is one of the few shows left in the world where the models actually do modeling. They're sexy and they're funny and they smile and they move. So animation's really important. So the thing I keep saying is talk to the girl, get them to smile, get color in the cheek, get the face animated, because a lot of fashion shows are very kind of straight and dour and serious, and this is kind of a celebration. The primer was really about keeping the girls looking very fresh, so I put lipstick on the nose and the cheeks. If you do that first, it makes the face look alive, makes everyone look really healthy. And then I take a little bit of foundation and I just kind of work, work that onto the face as well. Everything's got to stay kind of transparent and bright. A little bit of brown pencil, just putting some tone around the eye. Also, the thing about this look is that there's nothing graphic, there's no sharp lines, there's not like a big eye or anything. It's all quite soft and diffused. Almost like the makeup of a bed head, like kind of leftover idea of makeup. We have to make it work on the runway. We have to make it work on the various like floating cams and HD, super close cams. So we can't do anything that looks too synthetic or artificial. It has to be real. These girls, they're the best of the best in the business. So at the end of the day, every girl has to look perfect. 